I guess having the sun come out is a little too much to ask for today, but it's not raining, so that should be good enough. I spotted this parkour spot from a distance and I just feel like I have to play around a little bit. How good is this little set of walls? It's like right down the street from where we're living and it's a solid spot. check in with me quite often you've definitely heard that my foot is injured and you've heard me say it a million times because it's just dragging on forever and it just won't heal and to kind of work my way through the injury I've done my best to stay fit while working out at home the problem is even light parkour training tends to be really dangerous because one shitty step and I step back on the injury and it throws you back two weeks and uh, on the other side it's really been a, a struggle to work out at home because it turns out I lose motivation super quick if I'm not out moving, interacting with like the world and jumping and just taking taking shit in. I think that's what gets me excited and that's why I decided to uh, try doing light parkour again. Let's see how it goes. Now, there's many different ways of doing parkour, there's many different styles. People who love to find the sickest trick, there's people who love to challenge their fear by putting themselves in uncomfortable situations, and there's also, I like to call it the old school yamakaze style of training, which I used to do a lot, and it's all about just building a strong physical armor, like your body is meant to be tough and strong and you do this by going out and doing what is for lack of a better word, street workout. I'm not talking about calisthenics even though that can be a part of it, it's just more about looking at your environment in a playful way and finding different, difficult challenges that you can repeat as an exercise. coming off. Challenges to get from this wall to this wall without touching the floor. That was more painful than expected. The funny thing is, by finding these playful exercises, I end up pushing myself more than if I just do a number of reps. Because by doing this, I actually want to make it all the way to the top. And when I do a number of reps, I don't really emotionally care about getting 12 push-ups instead of 10 push-ups. Who gives a fuck? But here, for some reason I feel like I need to make it all the way. <laughs> I know a bunch of you are going to come and ask in the comments what exercises I'm doing. To be honest, I'm just making shit up and pretending I'm Karate Kid. And you can try the same. I'm done. 
I think this Yamakaze style of parkour training is maybe the ideal mix for my injury right now because I get to play but I also get to exercise and I don't feel forced to push myself too much. This guy does have the right idea. I missed it so much. I'm excited to do more of this. I think I can risk it with my foot. Let's keep going. Ah. Quick side note, this kanji means sake, stands for sake. My Japanese skills are slowly but surely improving.